Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi here. Um, today we're gonna do this. We'll do a real life seven passenger test, so to speak. So this Outlander, the all new Outlander has seven passenger capability. We do get a lot of questions. How many people can fit? Is it comfy? Is it not? So today we're actually gonna, all of us go for a, a short trip. It's seven of us. Let's see how we fit in. And uh, I think it'll be interesting. Now, before we get in the car, there's few things we need to figure out with the seating. Every time when you have a, a maximum passenger capacity, we need to basically keep in mind that everybody has to be somewhat comfortable in the car, okay? So each row you can adjust in uh, some ways separately. So obviously for the driver's side, uh, it's quite simple. You have the buttons here. You, you push forward, backwards, up and down, and uh, the back part, and uh, the steering wheel as well. So you can jump in the car, release, the lever here adjust the tilt and telescopic right so if it's seven people in the car there's some uh, sacrifices to may be made for everybody so even the the driver has to probably push the steering wheel inside a little bit and it's going to be you know a little bit tighter as as normally it would be right but it's all about everyone's comfort so as long as everybody makes tiny sacrifice i think we'll be good here is the deal with the second row so the second row this section slides forward and backwards and this section does it separately as well so i can push this lever down below right here and they just slide it forwards and backward right so again to achieve like you know optimal comfort for everyone this part has to be adjusted and you can adjust also uh the back so we can recline the back there's this handle right here so we can see it on uh, both sides as well same handle you pull it like this and then you basically figure it out uh, how um, you know you want to recline the back so this is as far as it goes right and then it can be upright as uh, like this right so probably um, to have a best legroom for the third row upright position would be the best and then we can see how we can adjust shift um, right here so that way everybody gets uh, optimal space for our trip and uh, once this is adjusted now let's have a look at the third row Here's the third row and for the third row uh, we need to make sure of course seats are folded up the headrests are in for safety reasons and now even the third row the cool thing is you can adjust the recline part right so it can first lock in like this right and then you pull this and then you can slide it down like that right so again for a maximum um, you know space we probably need to just uh, recline them like this that way there's uh, more um, you know room for for upper torso and whatnot so this is how we're gonna leave them everything's gonna be set up so we're gonna start with the third row we're gonna uh, get people in the, the third row and then we'll move on to the second row and then obviously the passenger and uh, uh, the, the the driver so and to get in the vehicle it's quite simple we just push this uh, uh, lever right here fold it all the way and then go in right there not the most convenient way maybe but uh, you know what it is what it is so um, we'll we'll get at it Okay, cool. So we're gonna start uh, filling up the car here, uh, the Outlander. So we are gonna, of course, start with the uh, a third row. So that's the most important, make sure the third row passengers are comfy. So we kind of adjusted the third row already. Now let's uh, see if uh, we can fit people in. So come on guys. Okay, we are gonna have Adrian and Ryan here on the uh, third row. We're gonna try to make it as comfy as possible. Okay, that was way too easy. Make sure your fa uh, seat belts are uh, fastened. It's all about safety. Okay, now we flip this up. Like I mentioned before, there's a little bit of sacrifices made for uh, everybody, but uh, overall I think, okay, your feet is there. Can you move your feet? Okay, sideways. Okay, like this. Maybe recline the back a little bit. Okay, how do you feel there? Yeah, yeah that's good. Good, yeah. Okay, so we'll do the same on the uh, second row right here. Okay, Adrian, all good? Yep. Okay, how's your feet? Good. Yeah, still good? Yep. Okay. All right, now here's uh, the third row passengers feel good, but uh, there's no legroom for uh, second row. So what we'll be doing, we'll move the passenger and... Uh, uh, you know, passenger driver seat a little bit forward so the third row passengers can uh, jump in comfy. Okay, there we go. 
and maybe just a little bit the uh, the front passenger there we go okay guys Alreza Max I'm gonna jump in remember short trip sacrifices to be made okay all right oh allow Reza come from this side the max uh, how's how's the leg room there Alreza is all right can I slide a little bit back yes. okay thank you okay there we go it's actually quite uh, good for me as well so obviously you know what not the perfect seating position but uh, for the short trips I'll do it so Patrick cameraman jump in let's go all right and believe it or not we are going to Starbucks to get some refreshments all right guys how we doing Good. Beautiful, actually. Beautiful. Awesome. Here, I'll pass the camera around. Very comfy. Selfie back here. all yourselves. How's it going? <laughs> hey. And back here. It's good over here. Yeah. How's the headroom back there, Ryan? It's good. We've got we've yeah. got tons of room here. Let's get one more. There you go. Let's go party. Now we can go. I don't know, I feel good as a driver. No issues there. A little bit less space than I, I would like to, but uh, it's good. Obviously, one thing also to keep in mind when you have seven passengers in the car, the car is heavy all of a sudden. You can't go as fast as you would normally do when you drive by yourself. You gotta like make sure like you know the vehicle might not break as fast. There's a lot of factors uh, to cover, but overall, I think it uh, fits quite well. So honestly, would you guys be okay if we'd go for like a two hour trip? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. In the back, third row? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, nice. See, everybody is uh, somewhat comfortable. It's good. At least I'm comfortable too. So now let's uh, look for a closest Starbucks so we don't have to drive two hours. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, come on, where's the uh, green light? I'm running out of gas. It doesn't even show the range anymore. So, how, so many do we need? how many orders do we need? 14. 14 and two no ice. Yes. So 12 light ice, yes. two no ice. It's like having kids. I like your math. 14. <laughs> hey, you gotta be I'm uh, hungry. Whose offense is this for? Daddy, I wanna go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> daddy? Why are you calling him daddy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's order some uh, drinks, okay? <laughs> we call him daddy. <laughs> what is it called? Mango dragon fruit lemonade, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not a mango. I have to go in. Is it? Yeah. Uh, hi there. <laughs> hi, what can I grab you today? Uh, I'd like to get uh, mango dragon fruit uh, lemonades. Of course. What size did you want? Uh, venti, all of them. A uh, venti? Yes. Okay. And it will be 12 with no ice. No, light quite ice. light ice. Ah, you guys, check in. Uh, okay, so <laughs> start <Starbucks> 12, <laughs> 12 with light ice. Light ice, sorry, we're getting 12 of the same drinks? Yeah, yeah, 12 of the same drinks. Uh, okay. Light ice. Light ice? Yeah, and uh, two of them, no ice. Also, venti size, so all together, 14 drinks. Okay, give me just one second here to type this all in. Okay. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Hi. So I've got the 14 drinks total. That is great. Perfect. Guys, no joke, I left my wallet. <laughs> yeah. You got your phone. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Good group of people here. There you go. So this means we can do more of these drives with uh, Amon. He was the first one to grab the wallet to spot me for Eddie. Yeah. Which wouldn't be really a spotting for Eddie because I would have no intentions to pay back. That's true. <laughs> I oh, know that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Let's get it done. Oh, there we go, guys. So what do we have there? 
There's 12? And the ones about I. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. We're all uh, stocked up. Now let's go. We're all uh, stocked up. You. Let's go back. And now it's time to get out. As we can see, even uh, with some drinks in our hands, it's uh, fairly easy to do. You just have to be a little bit careful and you're good to go. So obviously the second row gets out before the third row does. And then you just fold the seats and that's how third row gets out. So uh, fairly easy to get uh, uh, in and out. Lots of room for that. Uh, happy to see it and uh, yeah seems like uh, everyone's happy and as we just saw there's actually a good amount of space in the all new 2022 outlander with seven seats so each row gets decent amount of space of course it's not a humongous seven seater but there is enough for short uh, trips some sacrifices to be made in terms of like how much leg room you have and whatnot but overall i think it handles really well it can handle seven passengers and uh you know it's a real deal because sometimes I, I get comments and people ask hey is it really seven seats can you really put seven people in there do they really fit there just always when you remember that when there's more people driving in the vehicle you have to uh you know space out the seats and properly adjust and recline the back so that way everybody uh, can drive as uh, comfortable as possible so there you go thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel please do it so for more videos like that hit the like button leave a comment thank you so much and uh, see you in next videos